the GoPro action camera is back with a bigger camera than the previous version. I can say its battery is big enough. Dot dot, however, a spare battery is required for long video recordings. The newly added features in the front screen can provide great convenience in vlogging. Slow motion 240 frames in 1920x1080 resolution, which is our area of interest. I can show you sample videos about slow motion. The video shoots are not mine, but I did some more editing. Its slow motion feature is 240 frames, but it is not compared to 960 frames on these phones. You can give 240 frame images without slowing down, and you can get more incredible effects by slowing down these images in the computer program. Here you see people popping water filled balloons by hitting them with a stick. If you are going to record such a video, choose to do it at a sunny time and record with the sun behind you, we can say that it does a very good job as an anti-shake. GoPro Hero 9 stabilization is insane, using HyperSmooth 3.0 with boost mode on as well as horizon leveling. Dot dot the GoPro Hero 9 black stabilization is just off the charts. Watch cycling through this very rough terrain with the GoPro camera, the results are absolutely mint blowing, especially when compared to the GoPro Hero 7 black which also got tested on the GoPro suction mount. The GoPro Hero 9 Black delivers 20MP photos, which is great for time lapses, the higher pixel count gives you more detailed shots and allows for better post-processing and cinematic results, you can add animations, crop and to reframe your shots, and the time lapses generally look a bit better. Finally, you can watch a video explaining the blur motion feature of this camera. So let's set up your cinematic shooting mode. We're going to tap the mode at the bottom of the screen. Now you'll notice that this menu is scrollable and you can change the order and create your own presets, but thankfully we already have a cinematic option created. So rather than adding a new one, just click on the pen icon next to that. And here we're going to click on our resolution and FPS. We're going to choose 5K to get the most resolution out of our footage. And then in terms of frame rate, we're going to choose either 30 or 24. Next, we're going to click on lens. And this is where you can choose either to go wide and get that typical GoPro fisheye, but that's not a particularly cinematic look. So our next options or next best options are linear or linear and horizon leveling. So while the horizon leveling works fantastically, it also crops in your image a bit. So if you can, try and stick with linear. But if you find that you're rotating within your shots and want to try and keep your shots level, surprise, turn on horizon leveling. In addition, while the shutter speed helps to make your footage look smooth, it also controls how much light is allowed into the sensor. So since we selected 5K 30 frames per second, you'll find the EV comp is blanked out here. That's because it's not available at 5K 30, but if we switch to 5K 24 frames per second, it becomes available. But you're also gonna collect more information in your shot, which means that when it comes to color correction, color grading, transforming your shot in post, you're gonna have much more information to be able to deal with. This is also where you're gonna see the biggest difference, both when you're shooting and when it comes to. Look sick, so smooth, so you want to capture that, you want to capture that feeling of, you know, just carving it up, yeah, you, you, you warp speed, you warp speeding. So I'm going to show you how I do that. This here is a container, and it's what is inside this little container that will change your riding photography life. A tinted lens, just like this, it's like a, it's like a pair of sunnies for your eyeballs, 
And now this just goes straight over your GoPro lens like that. And boom, your life will be changed if you have one of these. Trust me, it will be. The link for this is in the description below. It is a Freewell ND16. There are lots of other ND sizes. I'll go into that a little bit later. All right. Okay, so right now we're just shooting auto. This is what you'll just get out of the box. Smash it on your helmet, hit record, away you go. No neutral density filter is used at all here. And you can probably see like it looks fine, you'll get away with it, it looks fine. You'll have a nice sharp picture. If you want to pull some stills or anything like that, like you totally can and it'll look fine. It'll look great. You just won't have any of that motion blurness to it. We'll pull up a frame here as well, straight off the footage and I'll show you, show you what that looks like. So there you go, it's dead still. There's not much motion blur going on at all. It's just a, just a standard photo as if you're sitting still the road, you can see almost the individual bits of gravel in the road and you know that's still cool you can post that no worries happy days but if you want to just add the extra bit of the bit of sensation as if you were moving okay, now this is with an ND filter on and the shutter speed is set to 1 60th of a second shooting at 30 frames per second and now you might tell the difference the road seems a bit smoother everything seems a little bit more buttery I'll just walk around this corner and pull a frame from it And see now there you can tell the difference you can see the rocks are actually they're blurred out a little bit it looks like you're moving forward but the slower your shutter speed the more motion blur but the more light that will get through so now i'll take the nd filter off and you see that everything is super overexposed it's bright it looks horrible and that's because the shutter speed is letting too much light in boy i think i nailed it i hope rob one is happy with that I don't even know if you can hear me. So anyway, Rob, if you can hear me, back to you, man. Bro, that was sick. I really like the whole ND filter off thing to show how much light actually comes in with the shutter that slow. Boom! Boom, indeed. Oh, you can't hear me anyway. <laughs>